when people traveled back in the late 1880s, 1890s, and past the turn of the century, they went to stay for a while. They didn't just go overnight or over weekend, so they did not use suitcases but trunks. Here you have nine trunks which serve for travel and some of them for storage here at home. The ones back here where I'm standing are for travel, obviously, the oldest being this humpback trunk of my grandmother's smoots going back before the Civil War. The uh, two cedar chests at this point are, were used and are still used for storing woolens in mothballs because um, in those days they had no mothballs and had to depend strictly on the cedar. You see other things have long gone by, old uh, toys for example, and up on the top shelf even bonnet boxes and shoe boxes on the top shelf. Um, which were very necessary because the ladies' bonnets could not be put into a regular trunk. They would be crushed. They were much too elaborate. Now you see my father's shotgun over there and this uh, smaller box down underneath carried his camping tools and equipment. So the traveling represented here was all the way from traveling back to elegant cities in the east to camping in the wildest, most primitive fashion out in West Texas.